The coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic is the greatest challenge we have faced since the Second World War. As people need to maintain social distancing, to cope with this challenge. The conventional method of classroom type education and training is greatly affected by this disease. This is a great worrying factor for educational and training institutions. To cope with this problem caused by coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic, e-learning has been developed as an alternative form of education that uses electronic technologies to facilitate learning, rather than a traditional classroom. Rather than driving to a conventional classroom, you simply need to log into your computer for instructor-led learning. E-learning usually requires internet access by the learner. E-learning typically takes place in the form of synchronous learning, and asynchronous learning. Synchronous learning is that kind of e-learning which takes place in real time, that is, where a group of people get engaged in learning simultaneously. Simultaneous learning does not really mean that all the learners need to be there in person. Also, they need not be present at the same location. The learners generally, from different locations, attend a live meeting. Microsoft Teams, Zoom, or Google Meet, are the communication platforms generally used for e-learning. On the other hand, asynchronous learning is more learner-focused learning. In asynchronous learning, learners participate to the learning, at their convenience, but, usually within a prescribed time frame. Asynchronous learning involves watching a pre-recorded video lessons, reading the chapters in a textbook or reading materials, and submitting the assignments. Many e-learning courses involve synchronous learning as well as asynchronous learning elements. For example, you might need to attend live session at 11 a.m. on Monday, and study the books and material any time at your convenience but before next session, that is, 10 a.m. on Thursday. Similar to traditional learning, an e-learning involves an instructor, students, syllabus, assignments, discussions, quizzes, and tests. Compared to traditional learning, e-learning offers several benefits including, learner can work at his or her own pace, learner can participate to the learning from home, office, or other locations, as convenient, learner do not need to travel to educational or training institution which saves time and cost to a great extent, and learner can access previous lectures as needed for easy reference.